Good morning, Dr. Eric Klajinski here at Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today we're going to discuss carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, pain in the wrist, numbness and tingling in the finger, fingers, excuse me, weakness. Most common cause is repetitive use injury. In other words, you're spending a lot of time typing, hairdressers, dentists, dental hygienists, using their hands a lot, using fine motor or the fine motor muscles. What happens is there's an inflammation that builds up in the carpal tunnel, which runs on the inside of your arm and wrist here. Uh, it's made up of your carpal bones, you have your uh, nerves, median nerve most commonly is affected, um, and you also have some blood vessels and tendons and ligaments and stuff like that. Um, it supplies the hand and fingers with innervation, which stems down from the neck, nerve from the neck all the way through the arm. So if you're spending a lot of time overusing your hands, these are some of the things that you can do at home. Number one, um, take periodic breaks. Okay, um, just kind of don't do extended time using your hands working from home. I know a lot of people are working from home now. A lot of patients are coming in with neck, shoulder, wrist pain, numbness and tingling in their hands, and this is the culprit, just overuse. So you have to take time, take breaks, to give those <clears throat> areas the time to decompress so the inflammation doesn't build up too strong and it gets time to heal. Uh, but there are some stretches you can do. Um, all different types of movements, in other words, you want to go into extension, you want to stretch and traction those muscles and those nerves, you want to go into flexion, and you can hold for anywhere between you know, 10 to 15 seconds. You want to deviate to the ulnar and radial plane, so you're going to deviate to inside your body okay, and outside your body. Um, you could also do some rotations, some mini circles with your wrist going both directions. You want to just mobilize. Um, that's going to help to decrease the inflammation, um, stretch out that area. Um, also, another thing you can do is you can just pull and stretch and traction your arm. That's going to decompress the joints, going to give some alleviation of that, uh, of that pressure in the carpal tunnel. So these are some of the stretches you can do at home. You can be more forcefully against like a wall or on a table. Um, you want to stretch the muscles and tendons of the hand all the way up through the forearm to the elbow. Okay? That's assuming everything is in your wrist. Um, sometimes we find with our patients that the problems in the neck or the shoulder. So you should also be stretching those areas as well if you are spending a lot of time on the computer. Of course, if your symptoms are not getting better, please give us a call um, and we can get to the uh, issue deeper and get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Some other things you can do for carpal tunnel. You can alter alternate ice um, and heat. Um, you can also soak your hands or your wrists in like a warm basin with some Epsom salts. That's gonna, again, alleviate some of that inflammation. There are some topical creams that you can use, like BioFreeze. The key is to get the inflammation down. Um, there are some vitamins as well that we recommend for our patients for nerve health. Um, fish oil in itself is gonna decrease the inflammation, so it's good for that area as well as many other things in the body, heart health, uh, general ar arthritis, pain, inflammation. Um, another thing that I found that the patients do well with is alpha lipoic acid. Um, this helps to improve nerve health. Um, it also will help to ingrate, create more oxygen into the cells so they can heal. Uh, another thing that patients seem to do well with, uh, with carpal tunnel or even neuropathy in the feet is L-arginine, nitric oxide booster, getting more, pushing more oxygen into those cells to reduce that inflammation um, and to help the body heal. So those are a few different vitamins. Uh, also, B vitamins are very good and known for nerve health, so a B complex would be good as well. Uh, but if you have any further questions or if you feel like some of these remedies are not working, just give us a call. We can, we can uh, do a further consultation customized to your particular problem, figure out what the core root of the problem is, and get it fixed up for you as quickly as possible. If any questions, uh, shoot me a message, give us a call, uh, visit our website. We are here and always happy to help. I hope you have a fabulous day, and that's all we got today. Enjoy.